Hello, adepts. How are you doing today? Hope you're doing good. I have a little bit of sad news. Hippoville might not be happening anymore. It's not because I was kicked off the server or because I got bored with the server. It's the server has switched to a different mod pack called Overload, which, you know, normally that wouldn't be any problem at all. There are, however, so many mods in the mod pack that I have yet been able to even load up the game with the mod pack installed. Yeah, that's a little bit, a little bit frustrating. I've tried 25 times now, and it always gets to a particular mod. And I'd have to try loading it again to remember what it's called, but it's something about weather in the launcher thing. I'm loading up, it says something about weather, and then it just freezes. I've let it sit for an hour, and nothing happens after it gets to that point. So I don't even get to see the main menu of Minecraft let alone try loading a world with all these mods. Which is disappointing because there's things like Galacticraft, there's still Darkcraft in there, there's the Trains mod. Basically there is almost every mod in existence in that pack, I believe. But that might not necessarily be a good thing because there's so many mods that you're not even going to bother doing them all. Why? Like Traincraft. Why have Traincraft when most people aren't going to be bothering using a train? They're either going to be storing things in their, in their applied energistic system and grabbing things out of there, so transport is not really an issue. With Darkcraft, you can just take a chest full of items and take that with you, so what's the point of having a giant train system? There's also Greg Tech, which, you know, it's not really that bad of a mod, but it's not really that great of a mod. It makes, basically, it makes everything take longer, which honestly kind of sucks. And if you're trying to do videos and stuff, you don't want to be sitting there for five hours waiting for things to be made just so you can record a half hour video. Okay. You know, it's just a lot of things that I question. <sighs> but, none of it really matters since I can't load the pack, so... Whatever. And right now I'm actually kind of interested in making some new tree breeds, because... Well, after thinking about it, just having a plain wood stone structure yet again for my storage area, it's a little boring. So, I'm going to go ahead and try tree breeding, which I haven't really done before, in order to get new breeds of trees to get different colored woods. Y yes, I could just go and find a new biome and get some new trees from there, but... Tree breeding doesn't take too long. You just set it up and leave it, and that's good enough. So we got common beech. That's one I haven't had before. Apple oak, silver birch, silver lime. I got a few of those. So yes, sadly, Hippoville, probably never going to happen again. Unless, miraculously, I'm able to load up the mod pack. Which, I'm seriously doubting will ever happen. I do have some beach. Okay. I didn't have that. I need a treealizer. See, glass, diamond, copper, redstone. I can figure out where the heck I put my carpenter at. 
That'd be another miracle. Oh, wait, is it still over here? It is! Okay, that's not too bad. I should have left that one redstone there. Oops. Let's see, glass panes, I got a couple of those. I'll need a diamond. Oh yes, a couple of redstone too. Eh, I'll just wait to grab all this. Then I'll go out there and set up the pattern and let it go. Actually, why would I go there? I don't have any way to power it out here. Hindsight. Well, since there's nothing really in here, I'll just take it. Water. I need to have some water for this, right? Don't have water here. Redstone. Copper. Oops. That is the recipe, correct? Copper, glass panes, diamond, redstone, yes. Just need to get the water and we'll be set to go. By the way, my carrot field is actually completely covered in carrots now, so I can start working on my next field if I really want to. I just don't know what my next field is going to be. I do have some food in here, right? Yeah, there's some uncooked steak. Looking for the, ah, here we go, cooked variety of food. And a bucket of water. Alright, so what's missing? Not enough water, okay. Thought I was actually missing something there. <sighs> so, I learned that Thomcraft 4 is actually out. I don't know how long it's been out, but... I'm aware of it now. And... Holy crap is it different. I mean, it's not hugely different, but the core of the research system is way different than it was. All right, so I need some honey drops. I should have plenty of honeycomb around, so that's not a big issue to get that. <laughs> uh, centrifuge. Oh, I do have some honey drops in here. Okay, well, we'll let it grind that up. And let's learn about these different saplings. That's just plain oak. We don't want that. These are two different silver birches. Okay. So, common beach, it is a one block wide tree. Okay. I don't know what that is. Let's see, silver lime, it's another one tree. 
Now, I understand that you can crossbreed these things to make perfect trees, which is pretty cool. Ah, this one's part apple oak. Possibly produces apple. And this is just a pure silver birch. And this one is half silver birch. Okay. I should get an app quick so we can actually start working on setting this stuff up in a more interesting location. Or actually, I don't really need to set it up in a new location. I just... I can just go down there and... There we go. We just go down here and set it up right around here. And I'm not using this area for anything right now. It will eventually be a stone platform extended out this way a little bit, where ima imaginary slash hallucinogenic byproduct warriors can fight training dummies. I really need to get more bronze. I'm pretty much out of that stuff. God dang, stop jumping! So, what, the main thing that's different about Thomcraft 4 that, from Thomcraft 3, the research system is a little bit more fun. It's kind of like a minigame now. And you actually need to research various items, like you can research dirt, or cobblestone, or stone itself. And you will learn aspects about those elements, instead of just holding shift while you hover over the item and automatically knowing. You have to actually take some time to learn what makes up the world around you. And doing so, you get a little bit of points for each element that you can use to research items. And by default, there are six main elements. Air, wind, not wind, air, water, fire, and earth. And the basic magic element has been turned into a compound element while the And in place of it, you have order and entropy, which is basically chaos. Uh, let's see. Got some bones. We'll take those. So everything that is exists in the world is either a basic element a compound element, or a combination of the two, or multiple. Oops. Might as well get all of these taken care of, because that's a few less things I need to work on crossbreeding. All right. So you know I saw one over here somewhere. Or did I? Yeah, I might be mixing up the tree. Mm, yep, that seems to be everything that I need to worry about. All right, we'll just chop down these trees and remove them from the vicinity. So anyway, with Thomcraft's new system, with the way they do the research and combining aspects, my typical Thomcraft research guide videos 
aren't going to be quite the same. Now, if anything, my main video will probably be a aspect combination video, which will show what aspects you need to combine in order to get certain aspects. It's not something that is entirely necessary for you to know, as you can try experimenting on your own anyway, but it can take a while to learn some of the more advanced aspects. Plus, your Thaumonomicon actually does keep track of what aspects combine to make which aspects, which is a very nice addition to the, to the Thaumonomicon. And with research... It's no longer about dumping items into no longer about dumping items into your research table and just clicking away at a button until you now suddenly know the item. Oops, I don't want to click that one. Get rid of this egg. Now you just go, hey, does this aspect belong here? Click it from the list of aspects, click research, and it'll say, yeah, that goes here, or no, it doesn't. No more math mashing a button until it says yes or no and grays out. You know it on the first go. Which, I love that addition. Alright. What do I want to combine? I'm thinking of just combining apple oak and silver birch. And just those two for now. Oops, I don't know the genomes of that one. Hey, it's part silver birch. So this shouldn't take very long. I just want to completely get the silver birch and apple oak out of the way and collect basically as much pure breed saplings as I can from them, but it likely won't happen the way I want it to. I also have to be careful not to get the trees too close to the hives because, well, they don't like being that close. Because the limbs can go over the top and then they'll get blocked out from the sun and no bees will be happy with that. I also need to get working on making some bee genetic equipment so I can actually start getting some genes from these bees that I want to actually use. Alright, is there any more that's going to come flying at me? Hopefully not. There we go. Get these trees growing nice and tall. I do worry about the apple oaks because I'm a little bit worried if they will try going and sprawling out a huge distance. But looks like it's going to stay out of the way, so good. Alright, bees. Time to work. And yeah, I could go ahead and do a whole bunch of apiaries and automate this process, but since I haven't really been worrying about getting these bees to be my main focus, I'm fine just casually doing this every now and then. By the way, there's another thing that is both new and old about Thomcraft. 
Do you remember vast purple landscapes of death and destruction and corruption? Welcome back, Taint. <laughs> I don't know what causes Taint yet, as of yet. I'm sure if I keep on trying to plow my way through the research stuff, I will eventually learn this. Like, what causes the Taint to happen and how best to avoid it. But right now, I'm clueless. This is awesome. Wait, that doesn't sound very right, does it? I forgot, what's the combination that you need to make bronze? Because I'm going to need a lot more of it. Let's see, where did I put that? Here we go. Let's see. Bronze, three copper, and one tin. That's right. So, we'll get a 3 to 1 ratio of copper and tin. There we go. Hmm, I need more lava. Come back, Bucket. I do not want to smelt you. Let's see, do I have some lava buckets? If I do, then at least I won't have to worry about running somewhere to get that. I got one. Not enough. Alright, I'll go get some lava from the nearby pool. Oh, by the way, I started making a mine. But why would you bother making a mine when you can just go ahead and have a quarry going? It's because I want a mine. What's a medieval style castle without a mine to go and get materials from? Can you answer me that one? I didn't think you can. All medieval style buildings need to have a mine nearby to just... For the sake of looks, at least. Well, this is rather... Strange. I crashed with my Darkcraft armor on and... I went backwards a bit in time. Oh yeah, by the way, did you know that you can transfer the bleed effect of your armor with a thrown item? Basically any item that you are using as a weapon, it will transfer the effect of the armor. So, I can cause a zombie to bleed to death by throwing eggs at it. As hilariously stupid as that is, it's also awesome. Oops, I missed that one. So yeah, I ended up running out of air power and crashed right here, and my game crashed! And then I reloaded up in the air over there and fell to my doom and crashed again. Hey, seven silver. Awesome. So, that was kind of random, but whatever I suppose. Now I'm lagging kind of badly every now and then. All right, let's get this lava put into the smelter and get to sleep so our bees can actually work. Ah, oh, why is my lagging so bad? <laughs> this is not fun! <laughs> it's Fraps again. Fraps is being stupid all the time. Well, at least we have some bronze. Would you shut up, zombies? Said, shut up. I do have a wrench in here still, right? Yes.
<sighs> My girlfriend's not feeling good. It's wonderful. I did have enough to make a block, right? How good I did. I never really feel happy when my girlfriend's not feeling well. Especially when she's at work while she's feeling sick. Which is probably where she's getting sick from is work, because she works at a truck stop and they get just swamped every weekend and chance of getting sick there is pretty good. And of course, she's one of the only two people that actually work the the to-go bar, which is where you ha go and buy the pre-made food at truck stops and gas stations. She's one of the only couple people that are able to work there. Yeah, not really a good good thing to have for a place where you want to get eat your food from. A small number of people that actually make it that have a pretty good chance of getting sick. I wonder how well these things are holding their charge. I probably need a lot more than what I currently got. It'll be better when this thing is completely full of mirrors. I should have enough power to fill a whole bunch of those laden jars. And then some, hopefully. Let's see, what else was I gonna do while I was online today? I honestly can't remember what else I'm doing right now. I think I'm just kind of being here. Just kind of doing things at my own pace. You know, it'd help if I could just transmute silver. I really should work on my recipes. There we go, that's starting to come along better now. I could probably get my silver transmutation stuff out of the way pretty fast. I do have everything necessary for it. Got some lapis for the value. Got a whole bunch of iron now. A whole bunch of iron. And I think oak saplings have the permutation. Nope, they don't. But seeds have permutation. Let's see how well we can get silver made. I had some iron here, too. Okay. Let's see, metal value. Oh boy. We're just getting tin. Darn it. Well, if it wants to give me tin, that's fine. I forgot what else was in tin. Glass. Glass is in tin. Not sure why glass is in tin, but... Nope, not feathers. Glass. I guess if that's what they wanted to have, that's their choice. Stop doing that. Okay. Let's try again. Iron. Or maybe silver didn't need to have the value added to it. I think this is silver. Yep, it is. Alright, let's consult the Thaumonomicon. What do we need to craft silver? 
Um, hello? Where's the image? What the hell is going on? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> okay, that one's showing. Why is it not showing silver? Oh, dear. Yeah, come on. All right, uh, I'll... I'll give on that one. I'll get silver my own way. Stupid game. That's still pumping good. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to end this episode soon and anyway because I either got to figure out what's going on with my silver transmutation stuff and why it's not showing me all the recipes in my Thomonomicon. It's showing me that one. It's so weird. All of rainwater. Of course. I forgot that you can actually get that with the Thomic Tinker stuff. So I gotta figure out that, or I've gotta plow another field, or. I don't know. I gotta watch my trees and manage my bees. That's another thing I have to keep on top of. And I have to stop this lag issue it eventually. <sighs> so, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode, even if it wasn't really much of an episode at all. Just a bunch of random stuff being done. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and fave. I will see you next time. Take care, and goodbye.